Hello procrastinators! This week, the humans of Animal Crossing got fireworks and the ability to sleep. Although not, of course, when the fireworks are on. Nintendo's old code leaked like a sieve made of just one massive hole. And Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, that's actually its name, tried to win the title of crappiest video game name of 2020. Uh, speaking of... Uh, I don't know, Cold War? Uh, close enough. Melga Slide 5 is entirely nuke-free now. Earlier this week, players on the PS3 version disarmed the last player-built nuke, earning a special cutscene that, given it was Melga Slide 5, I'm assuming it was about 17 hours long. This isn't the first time this cutscene appears, but this is the first time it has legitimately appeared, and that just makes me happy. I love these little micro-communities that sprout with games, and sure, the PS3 version probably only has a few people playing it, but the idea of them all running around and disarming and removing these nukes is brilliant! I just love that, I love that. And speaking of micro-communities, Rocket Arena launched and died in the past few weeks. Remember Rocket Arena? No, not Rocket League, not the one with the card. Rocket Arena. It was an arena shooter with, with rockets. EA made it. Came out about two weeks ago. Any Anyone? No? No is right, as Rocket Arena landed with all the grace and poise of a turd on a trampoline. Just two weeks! Two weeks! The game is now 83% cheaper than it was at the start. Look, it, well done, early adopters. 83% cheaper now. That, and they've, even, they've also offered a free weekend to bolster the numbers on a game that IGN has called... Well, they didn't bother to review it yet. I mean, this is bad. At the time of recording, uh, this is genuinely true, more people are playing Hoonipop on Steam than Rocket Arena. Seriously, it's bad. Like, Lawbreakers bad. And that came out three years ago. And nowadays, the hero shoot market is about as saturated as my shirt after light to moderate exercise, to be perfectly honest. I'm fat, I should sort that out. So, while getting a foothold is hard, getting a foothold with a new IP without being free to play? That's impossible. This hero shooter thing that I don't give a fuck about. But anyway, RIP Rocket Arena, we hardly knew ya. In fact, we didn't at all, and that's kind of the problem. Oh, you will never guess what game is getting an update. No, not Barbie horse riding adventure. That's a weird guess. It's Sekiro! Yes, Sekiro is adding new costumes, new move replays, and a boss gauntlet mode about 50 years since the game came out. And I adored Sekiro, but a boss rush where death is a restart after a year of not playing? No, my hands will die. I... I can't go back. Still, hopefully, maybe... Maybe this means a little bit of story DLC in the future? Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> oh, fuck. And finally this week, Humble Bundle is running the best bundle on their fucking ages. To celebrate Double Fine's 20th anniversary, you could pick up almost their entire back catalogue for about seven pounds. And that includes Brutal Legend, Gang Beast, Rad, sorry, Rad, Headlander, Gnog, Everything, Broken Age, Grim Fandango Remastered, Day of the Tentacle, Costume Quest, and you can get a copy of the best documentary of all time, which is Double Fine Adventure, which seriously, if you like games, you have to watch it. And that's just a handful of the games that are on offer, plus you get soundtracks, prototypes, and you can just give all the money to charity if you so wish. Oh, and Psychonauts, which sits in the lowest tier at just 79p, and you get the documentary with that. 79p. You... Bargain of the year. Bargain of the year. It's like that time I bought one garlic bread from Tesco's and they shipped me 15 for some reason. True story. Best day of my fucking life. Beats our wedding day. It, fuck it, it, does, it genuinely just does. Anyway, this Sunday at noonish UK time, I will be finishing Psychonauts over on the Twitch channel. If you missed it last week, part three of the... Seven-year-old Psychonauts Completes went up. And if I say Psychonauts one more time, Tim Schafer will jump out of my mirror and twat me with a big stick. Psychonauts. Ow.